Is this the biggest name to ever join NK Zagreb? Oh my god. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back. It's, it's Neymar. He's 35. He's not very quick, but it's Neymar on a six month deal. Welcome to the NK Zagreb save. Um. 35 years old, on a free transfer, a six-month contract, four and a half pounds a week. He doesn't even want a big wage. The main thing he wants is that if he somehow gets in the team of the year for only playing half a season, he wants 14 and a half thousand pounds. And I was like, that's totally fine. It's Neymar. Look at these stats or attributes, sorry. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yes, he hasn't got any pace. Yes, he hasn't got any acceleration. Yes, he can't jump and he can't hold off people from tackles, but so what? He's a perfectionist. He's going to be brilliant for mentoring. He's coming in. Look at this. Corners, crossing, finishing, first touch, dribbling, free kicks, passing, penalty taking, technique, vision, off the ball, flair. He is going to be ridiculous for us. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Can play up front, in the midfield, left wing. It's... It's Neymar. It's Neymar. And he's going to come in for the first league game after the, the winter break. He is the only signing I'm pretty sure we've made in the winter break. Yes, I'm wearing the same t-shirt. No, I haven't recorded these episodes back to back. I'm just disgusting when I get in from work. I put on the same things. <laughs> Look at this. He's already rated at four star. It's gonna. I, I, he's going to sell shirts. The sports are pleased the arrival of Neymar. I believe the strength of character and influence could help the first team. Go on, he's probably never heard of you, Mihel Arejo. He's probably never heard of you, but you're happy to get in there and help. I mean, it's Neymar. Cuts inside from both wings, can play inside forward on attack on either wing. Looks for pass rather than attempt to score, not too sure why. Runs with ball off and he's going to be brilliant. And even if he's not brilliant, it's Neymar. He once cost £195 million. Last year for PSG, he was still clocking a 7.24 average rating. How the F have we picked up Neymar? It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's go into the training and into the mentoring stuff and see. We'll just go and see if he what, what Marco Toss thinks. There you go. Straight in. Into as a team leader as well. Perfectionist. Oh, he's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, I'm so excited to see him play against Rieka. He's going straight into the starting lineup. So um, let's just have a check. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Ian Allen went out and found uh, Mordo Vega to come in on loan as a right back. Yeah, happy. Another option uh, in on a pretty cheap loan deal. Uh, oh, yes, we have made deals. Sorry, we have. We've bought in Klezmir Benkovic um, from Hey Duke, actually. Uh, an inter Croatian transfer. He's done all right for them in, in the past couple of seasons. And he comes in to be another centre back option for us. So good tackling, good marking, decent, all right heading. Uh, good determination, really good, good aggression, good bravery, good jumping reach. He's going to be our tall centre back. Um, he's listed as no nonsense. We're training him to be a ball player. I've got a feeling all my centre backs now training to be a ball player. Um, six foot two, so it should be really good and a powerful centre back. Only 22 and another Croat in the team, which is always good. And I don't know if we went through this one before, but Hamuada Ben Amor has joined us for 500k. A natural Mazala, someone I was scouting. We bought him in 500k. I'm sort of, if it doesn't work out, I'm happy to just release him. But he has got decent potential, uh, so that's good as well. And Bakayoko was one that we had always lined up for a long time. He just had to turn 18 before he could move here. He's come in and gone straight out on loan uh, to Domzale in Slovenia. And I don't think on the outs there was much happening. Martin Mermich left for 30k. Oh, Bojan Knezovic left, yeah, 215k. Um, his all rise to. Again, I mean, look at that, not making any appearances. So happy to let him go. Doesn't fit our new tactical philosophy. That if you haven't watched the last episode, go and watch it, because that's where we talk it through. And um, Hector Moreno finally made his move to Boyaca Chico FC, which is an amazing name. And, yeah, that's about it, really. A few people going out on loan and all that, but not too much. Oh, oh, big news. Big, big, big news. Um, so, uh, this happened. Hashtag LZ90 left the club. Yeah, that was a weird one. Um, he came to me and said, you know, I think 
I'm uh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting homesick. He had missed like three training sessions in a row, accepted fine his fines and things like that, um, and was said, I think I'm getting homesick. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, we'll look to give you a leave of absence. He was like, no, I just want to leave the club and go on the transfer list. So I said, yeah, okay, you know, we'll put you on the transfer list. Put him on the transfer list. And then Marco Toss, as my assistant, came to me and was like, oh, I think we can, you know, he's, he's not, not needed in the squad. I think we can offer him a mutual termination. Offered him mutual termination, and he went, "Yep, yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave. You don't have to pay me. That's fine." And then would prefer not to play for Zagreb. So he's quite clearly didn't want to stay at the club anymore. So look, LZ hashtag LZ ninety. He's left the club. He's gone. He's he's toodle pip. See you later, mate. Toodle pip. Off you go. I mean, a good season last season. But before that, uh, this season, no, not so much. He really hasn't settled into how we're playing. Um, so, yeah, that was a big one. Let's have a quick check at Tom Zerger. No, nope, still hasn't found a club. Uh, Thor, you have. Oh, yeah, I remember you finding a club last time. And uh, Lari, who was never going to make it for us, has been released as well. And he's at least he's found a, a team in Skenderbrou, which is good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, Neymar. Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. Oh my god, give it, I mean, I'll say give it a like, maybe you don't like the fact I've signed Neymar, but in you go, in you pop. In fact, I could replace Damir Simonovic on that, on the right wing, and play him out there. Does it actually say he's either footed? No, preferred to be right footed. So we'll start him, I mean, it's Neymar, we'll start him where he wants to play, um, which I assume is inside, advanced playmaker, we'll put you as an inside forward, attacking midfielder, a D oh, oh, oh boy. We're playing with a deep line forward right now. Let's get um, Simeonovic back onto right wing. Sorry, Bobby, but Neymar's in town. Um, yeah, we'll go for that. We probably don't need all of these wingers on the bench now. I've got two right wingers on the bench. Definitely don't need that. DeSantis, you can come off of Firmino. So he's the striker on the bench. Oh my word, I'm excited. I am I am excited. Can you tell? I'm very excited by this. I just love signing a big name player. I just like I've been um a, a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago, uh, not a week, a couple of days ago, I was uh teasing the Discord chat about a big name player coming in. I bet no one predicted Neymar. I bet no one predicted Neymar. It's just brilliant. Um Right, let's get into the game. Let's go and play Rieka at home. Have I made, have I changed this back to what I want it to be? Yeah, higher, shorter. Uh, whip. Do I need to work the ball into the cross just yet? Regroup, counter, distribute out there. Higher defensive line, standard. Slightly less urgent apart from the front three who told you it automatically. Attacking. And I think I'm expecting us to win this game. So let's overlap on both wings and really push people forward. Right, two squad numbers to be given. Neymar can get... Oh, do we go for... Does he just come in as a straight swap for Zahovic? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 We're going to give him a 33. That's my favourite number. That's one of my favourite numbers. So you can have that. Uh, you want number 24, so you can have number 24. Chris Benkovic comes into the team as well. Let's get into it then. The teams are warming up and... Neymar! Oh my word, it's ridiculous. Oh, they've got someone from Ajax. Decker. Uh, okay, we've scouted him. He's not very good. Um, they're lining up in the same formation as us. Mohamedy is the guy on loan from us playing against us, so expect him to score. But is it Neymar? Is it Neymar? That's, that's the thing, isn't it? Who in this league has got Neymar? We have. Um... Well, we're home. We're at home. Let's give the fans a performance to cheer. And then assertively, there's a lot more to come from. Absolutely everybody missed the Neymar, including you. He's happy. Oh, yes. God, Neymar. I can't believe it. Um, how have we felt? Um, we've, 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 we're fine. We've prepared for this in training. And we've signed Neymar, who hasn't trained with us once yet. So, yeah. Neymar, let's see how it goes. So from the kickoff, we have actually intercepted the ball, and it's 30 seconds into it. Grigon lays it out to Vera. Vera crosses the ball looking for Neymar. Grigon picks it up, and we're 1 0 up 49 seconds into the game. Um, that's happened from kickoff. It was their kickoff. They went long. We intercepted it on the right back position. Vera tried to put a cross in here on his wrong foot into Neymar. It's a half decent header away. Grigon with a good touch, and I'm now happy we didn't drop him to start Neymar on the left wing. We started Neymar up front. 1 0. 20 minutes gone, nothing else to report at the moment. Um, uh, Guigon's maybe picked up a twisted knee. We'll leave him on at the moment, see if he can play through it. But, yeah, not a lot happening. Well, we're dominating the game, but we're not 
there's no highlights to speak of, which is odd because we're on extended highlights. So, ah, here we go. We have another one as I talk. Vera into Valencia. I've sorted out all of our set pieces as well. I've spent ages doing it. Grigon out to the right hand side to Stoinik. Uh, Neymar coming close to get the ball into Oyengo gets it away. Mohamedy. Now, we have been training with Mohamedy for a short period of time when he signed for the club and then went on loan. Morani balling back post. Decker completely unmarked. That is terrible marking. VAR offside. That's why it's terrible marking. We had a really good offside trap. That's what we'll put it down to. Arejo into Simeonovic. I've sped up the highlights a bit. If you want me to slow it down for future games, just let me know in the comments and I will do that. But uh, Mavallo back to Decker. They're just starting to hold on to the ball a bit and create a bit of possession. Mavallo into Satori, into Decker. Decker comes forward again into Mohamedy. Mohamedy out to Ayongo. Ayongo crosses it and now they have made it 1-1. That's a really good goal. We didn't track the runner in the middle. Um... That's annoying. So Decker here played it into Mohamedy. Good ball over the top. Over there into Ayongo. And then, yeah, we just switched off. Two and Zabi just let the runner go past him. And uh, not concentrating well. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Vera has it into Valencia to Mikel Arejo. Back to Valencia again. Into Arejo. Back to Valencia. Keeping the ball. This is what we want to build our tactical philosophy on. Quick passing moves. Move with the short passes. Vera. Ball in. Oh, he is. I've just remembered when I... Had a slight hindrance for about his right-footed cross. He is right-footed. He prefers to be an inverted wing-back. As Mohamedy's through, Mina with a good save. They are just breaking that. Looks like they're breaking that offside trap ever so slightly. I've changed our set pieces. Why are we still lining up like that? That's really annoying. Oh, maybe it was the new one. Maybe I've kept... I don't know. We'll be able to tell next time. We've got to look to see if there's men on the posts. If there's still men on the post, then it's the old setup. Neymar's not playing well. Come on, son. Get in the game. Uh, Vera up to Neymar. Grigon. Gruden comes forward with it. He's just running. He's running and running into Simeonovic. Good save from Klafjordic. And it's still 1-1. Corner to be taken. Gronley to swing it in. Veselinovic heads it across. Oh, a free kick. I thought it was going to be an open goal and a, an easy finish. Maybe we should put Neymar on all the set pieces. I probably should look to do that because he's very good at them. Right. They've been clinical with their shots. Three and three of them on target. We've had a lot of shots and most of them on target. Just can't put it in the net. Hmm... Let's go ride a bike. Um, I'm just going to leave it as it is for a moment. Who's at the back on a 6.6? .6? Two and Zabi. Maybe you can come off and we'll give Benkovic his debut. Give him a half to give him his debut. And we're going to go into the team talk. And we're going to give you a little bit of a bollocking. Um, not happy with the performance. That's it. You don't get any more praise. You just get a bollocking for not performing properly. Benkovic up to Arejo. Valencia. Gronley back to Valencia. Arejo. So we've started to do training as well and train people to how we want to fit this formation. Vera into Neymar, he's pulled wide. That was a fizzing cross in. Arejo shoots! Oh, tucked so nicely into the bottom corner. It is 2-1. Now we've got the lead. We're actually just going to drop that down to positive. Um, look at the whip on this cross that Neymar put in. He's obviously looking for Simeonovic, who wasn't really paying attention. Dropped out to Arejo and then just inside the box. Lovely finish across the goalkeeper. 2-1 to Zagreb. So 17 minutes gone, not much more to talk about. Neymar still struggling to get into the game. So what we are just going to do, we're just going to give him a go um, over on the... Yeah, we'll just do... We'll put him in probably where he wants to play most, which is out there. Um, we'll just go for that for a little bit. If that still doesn't get him firing a little bit more, then we can just, we'll can we just bring on Bobby Firmino and put him up front. Um, he hasn't played football for the whole of the first part of this season, so I'm not expecting Neymar to be... Well, I am expecting Neymar to be brilliant, but we'll let him off... Uh, this game to be honest so I mean we're dominating the shots and we're creating good chances it's just their goalkeepers playing pretty well okay 10 minutes to go uh, Neymar's just dropped down to a 6.2 so we'll swap everybody back to how they were and Bobby can come on up top like that do we want to make another sub 6.6 .6 Simeonovic he might come off actually yeah I think we'll do Simeonovic uh, for Arejo on that side over there who is Basically either footed and, and can play as an inside forward on each wing. So, um, good. Nice. Vera into Vesanovic. Keeping the ball building from the back. Valencia. Arejo. Back to Valencia. What a ball that is from Valencia out to Arejo. In it goes. Firmino's beaten in the air. And Batten looks to get it away. I think we're going to have to hit low crosses I think I don't think we really want to have mixed as good header away from Benkovic into Lalavas Dragomir Stoinic intercepts and clears Pesnik picks it up out to Ayongo. Ayongo is matched by Vera and it hits him and goes behind for a corner in the final minute this normally ends in a goal if I know football manager but yes Mina great save and I don't have people on the posts which means that is the new corner defending technique Arejo picks up that poor header runs forward with it and uh, he sort of 
confuses himself but puts a cross in and it's cleared behind but Mourinho mistimes his run. Mourinho? Firmino mistimes his run and was offside but we get the win. A good 2-1 win. Lovely, lovely stuff. Um, a good win. Why not? I'll tell him it was a good win because we did play very, very well. So that win with a game in hand has put us a ridiculous amount of points in front. So many that I can't work it out. Seven. Seven points in front with a game in hand. So we could potentially go ten points ahead of Osiek, which is pretty ludicrous, uh, to be honest. It's safe to say I mean, we've lost one game in the first half of the season. And I think that was the first game of the season. Was it the first game of the season that we lost? Um, no, okay, it was, must have been the first one I'd done on camera. I don't know, anyway, first time I played But since then, yeah, form's been good. And now we're playing to our own sort of way that we want to play. We had loads of friendlies that went okay. Um, uh, highlights, 3-0 win against Maribor, a 2-1 win against Roma. Um, the 3-3 game against Mathersburg was entertaining, but it wasn't brilliant. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, we got loads in to try and work on this formation, as you can see. Um, and we're going to start playing it for the rest of the season. For the rest of the season, we can just work on tactics, uh, getting people to play how we want to play. Ow, I've just smacked my elbow on the shoulder. Which, uh, elbow on the shoulder? What is wrong with me? Elbow on the table. But, um, yeah, so we've got a game against Osiek coming up. Um, did I just say they're second in the league? Yes, they are. Let's do this game. We'll do that game in this episode as well. Okay, so back for the game against Osiek, and Mina is in goal. Stoinich, Nathan comes in to replace Tuan Zavi, who drops to the bench. Veselinovic and Kufle also comes in to left back, and Vera drops down to the bench. Valencia and Arejo keep their place in midfield, but Vicari replaces the injured Gronli uh, for this Mazala, attacking Mazala role. Then we have Simeonovic starting on the right, Guigon starting on the left, and Neymar keeps his place up front, hopefully going to have a better performance than last time. Uh, Malencia in goal for them, Castro, Pons, Milas, uh, So comes back to face his old club. For, we sold him for 1.7. He's not worth that much, but he has been playing quite well for them. Saric, Radic and Knezovic are in the midfield. Uh, Mohamed Benitez and Adamu play behind... Adamu? Adamu? Adamu, probably. Play behind Skenderovic up front, who has got some good finishing, good decent amount of pace behind him. Could be a useful player. Only 19 years old. Maybe someone we should keep an eye on. Um, but, uh, yeah, who knows? Let's get into the game. My scout reports and the analysis reports suggested they're going to be playing a shadow striker and a, and a poacher um, or an advanced forward. I think it was an advanced forward, actually, up front, which means our defence may get caught out with the offside trap. But we'll go and um, go into the game and have a look. I'm going to... They're not rivals of ours, so let's show them why we're much better than them. That's the easiest thing to do. Um, and then we'll tell everyone assertively that, you know, they can all make a difference. Because if you tell everyone they can make a difference, then everyone makes a difference and everyone plays better. So we'll get the game underway. Let's hope for a goal after 49 seconds yet again. That was a wonderful start in the last game. But alas, it's not going to happen this time. Ten minutes in, uh, we've had two shots, two of them on target. None, neither of them were highlights. I'm not too sure why. If they're both shots on target, why they're not highlights. But the, uh, the, the computers obviously decided they weren't worth, worth watching. So... Yeah, we need to uh, step this up a bit. Let's demand a bit more from them. They're all focused after that, so we'll be back if anything snaps. We are we're on we're on extended highlights. This is wow. Two teams just not letting each other play. It seems like, or they're very much defensive, and because they're not. Re oh, hey, they've had a shot on target. Okay, I've just got a thing to say. All of our shots are coming from range, so we'll work the ball into the box a little bit. Uh, I'll go back to the pitch and confirm those changes. See if that makes a difference. See if it's, uh, we'll slow down our attack and try and work it in. We've injured Adamu, and he's been replaced by Popsicle on the left wing. So, okay, uh, demand a bit more. They have a throw in. Saric to Knezovic. Back to Sadik. Into Knezovic again. Ball all the way across. Mohamed, what was that? A save? No, it hit the bar. Grazed the top of the bar with his shot from range. But uh, they've had the first dangerous highlight, apparently. Throw in in their half. Saric up to Benitez. Benitez runs back towards So, gives him the ball, all the way back to the goalkeeper, Malamika. Now, they're not playing it out the back. That's going long, and that's pretty rubbish. Nathan wins the header. Back to Nathan from Arejo, all the way back to Mina. Now, we should play it out from the back. There we go. Veselinovic, Mina. He goes long looking for Guigon. Flicked in field to Vicario. Arejo, up to Simeonovic. Simeonovic is driving on the outside. Ball in. Neymar's there with the header. He gets his first goal for the club. What a ball in from Stoinich. Absolutely. He scored on his birthday. Neymar's birthday. So he's going to be 35 or 37, 36. Simeonovic, that was a good tackle on him, actually. A bit, a bit unfair on him. Stoyanich, go ball in. Neymar lost his man. Great header into the corner. And he gets his first goal for the club. And that is 1-0 Zagreb. Throw in. Stoyanich into Nathan. Into Arejo. To Valencia. To Vicario. Look at us moving this ball around. Lovely. Arejo. Great ball out to Kufre. Kufre, who is a left-footed left, left back. 
Uh, it gives the Grigon. Good run in the middle. And Amar back to Grigon again. Grigon gets in the box. Shot blocks from so. And it goes behind a four or a corner. Now, let's see if our new corner routine makes a difference. Vicario ball in. Veselinovic. Oh, beaten in the air. And uh, Radic will bring this away. We did keep numbers back. But Popsicle tries to lay it out to Benitez. And his shot is blocked or cross is blocked as well. And that's a corner now to Osiek with three minutes of added time to play. The ball comes in. Veselinovic with a good header away. Back out to Popsicle, into Knezovic, back to Popsicle again. His cross is blocked once more, and that'll be a throw-in. So into half-time, and we are 1-0 up. We've probably been the better team. I think we're playing quite well, so um, I'm just going to say I'm happy. It, it makes them all up for it a bit more if we say if we say we're happy as well. I'm going to try... I don't want... I'm worried that what's happening is we're going up the wings, and we're trying to do a little bit too much with it from there. So I'm going to convince them to hit early crosses. Now, my thinking of this is that because we're playing short passing, we should pass it up through like this sort of way. That's what we want to do, through the midfield. And then when we lay it out to Kufre and Stoinich, the early crosses will actually mean that Grigon and Simeonovic have to bust the gut to get into the box. So that's what we're going to try. We'll see if it works out. Mar Milas wins a header into Mohamed, into Benitez. Ball over the top. Skindovic has got in the wrong side. Mina makes a good save. And the high line we play does give away some chances like that, but... Generally, I'm not too fast. That's a great block. It's a free kick. I think uh, our Skindovic had fouled somebody. He's fouled Nathan in the middle. Um, I think we're going to make our first sub of the day. Uh, Arejo is going to come on for Guigan on that side because he's right-footed or more favourable on his right foot anyway. So he can cut in field a bit more from that position and hopefully give us a few more options going forward. Free kick then. Veselinovic has it. Short to Valencia. Into Vicario. Into Valencia again. Arejo. To Valencia. They can see their man marking Stoinic out here. Simeonovic gives it to Stoinic into Arejo. Big switch is on if he wants it, but he has a shot. And Malenka makes a good save. And uh, again, shots. They're actually having more possession, which is surprising. I'd be, yeah, I'm very surprised by that. Maybe we could uh, we could lower the tempo if we want to and just try and nullify the game. But whilst we're winning and we're at home, I'm not too fussed about keeping this sort of tempo up. So... Uh, here is Saric. Up it goes to Benitez. Into Popsicle. Back to Saric. Saric is put under some pressure to Knezovic. Into Benitez. Benitez comes forward. Shoots and that's past the post. Not really troubling Mina too much. Throw in. Ponce to Mohamed. Mohamed into Knezovic. To Benitez. Benitez ball into Popsicle. Shoots and uh, Mina makes the save. Now we are being overrun just a little bit now. So we're going to drop that down to lower. We'll stop the overlaps. Don't have to worry too much about that. I guess overlaps and hit early crosses is a bit of a... Bit of a sort of a contradicting team instructions as that's cleared away eventually. Arejo blocked the shot and I think Nathan booted it out of play into touch. So, I mean, it's a battle of the top teams. This is dropping them down into third position if we keep this result, which is good. And extends our lead at the top. Milas into Radic. Back to Milas into So. They're trying to build this out from the back to Popsicle. Popsicle comes forward. By the way, I know his name isn't Popsicle. It's just easier for me to say. Benitez slips it into Mohamed and Mina makes a save. Is that Kufre? Yeah, Kufre getting found out a little bit by Mohamed on this side. Ball in. Nathan with a heady clearance. Simeonovic brings it away. Looks to launch a ball to Neymar, who maybe about 10 years ago would have had the pace to get it. Okay, we're going to bring Vera on because um, Kufre's rating has just dropped down a little bit. Also thinking, man on a yellow card. What's Vicario's 6.7? So he could come off. Yeah, let's bring Stoyak on into the Mazala role and uh, Neymar's going to have to get 90 minutes today because that will be all of our subs Arejo into Vicario into Arejo Arejo look to put the cross in but it's going to go for a corner and uh, it gives us a chance to send the big guys up from the back obviously nothing happened for it okay they're just about to get a highlight so this could backfire but we're just going to drop um, Valencia into a holding midfield defensive role now oh Arejo oh, I thought he was going to intercept it and get on the end of it Nathan brings it down Stoinich into Veselinovic. Back to Stoinich again. Up it goes to Simeonovic. Arejo. Oh, he's trying to feed that into Simeonovic, who was just a bit caught on his feet. Popsicle comes forward with two men for company. Arejo puts in a good tackle, but it leaves space for Benitez. That's a woeful shot. Why would you do that when you're losing with four minutes to go? What a waste. Mina, great ball out to Vera. Vera up to Arejo. He's robbed. He's done, not done very well since coming on. So, Radic, Mohamed. Vera, great interception. He's waiting for runners. Into Stoyak. Arejo. Back to Stoyak again. Arejo. Just give it to Valencia. There you go. Up to Neymar. Neymar. Great ball out to Stoinic. There's runners for him and he's just lost the ball. He's kept it. Into Stoyak. Stoyak. Arejo. Is that a foul? Is it a penalty? No, it's a corner. Oh. Arejo to swing this one in. With his left foot. An in-swinger. He takes his time. 
Legs in. Veselinovic heads it across. Orejo keeps it alive, but he's tackled by Vargas, and now the counter attack could be on. And here comes Vargas. Runs it all the way to the left wing. Valencia with a great challenge on him. Oh, bloody hell. This is intense. Orejo, right. We're just going to make a few more tactical tweaks to try and see this out. Mazala on support. Let's just take you off running health the lever up the pitch and try and control it a little bit. Areo with a good header. Stoy picks it up. Neymar's got a bit of space. Lovely ball through to Areo. Goes for the chip and Melenciga just touches it over the bar. Veselinovic is free at the back. Heads it back across and there's another corner. Oh my word. This is intense for only a league game. 1-0. Neymar. He's, I've said I should put him on all the set pieces. He's got this one by default because Gronley's not on the pitch and he's overhit it. So maybe he shouldn't be on set pieces. But with about 20 seconds to go I think the tactical tweaks we've made may see this game out for us. So it goes all the way back to Mina. Who knows he can take his time. Up to Veselinovic. Back to Mina again. Into Nathan. Back to Mina. Into Nathan. And there's the full-time whistle. It's a well-fought 1-0 win against probably the second-best team in the country at the moment. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, a very nice victory. They didn't seem too fussed about that. Maybe they thought they should have played better. Which, if it's true, then fair enough. So... Yes, very nice. We're sitting very comfortably at the top of the table now, still with a game in hand over Hayduke and Osiek, and we are eight points clear now, which is very nice. Um, Dynamo have got a game in hand on us, so if they win that, they'll be on 34. They're not really challenging us this year. But yeah, great performance this season so far. Played 19, won 14, draw 4, lost 1, goal difference of plus 25. When we're just got past the halfway point is uh, very nice. They say we're fortunate. I think we played it tactically very well. 13 matches in a row without losing in the league is very, very nice um, indeed. And this could have well been quite a long episode. I can't really tell because I was recording all the way through in between games. So who really knows? Now I'm thinking, do we try and get Neymar on a bit of a longer contract purely for mentoring? Because to have a perfectionist in here for mentoring would be unbelievably good. And he's a team leader. I think I think we could. I think we could. Please have the dressing room core social group. Recognise he has little presence within it. Has no strong feelings about the squad support from Andrew. It remains at a very good level. Wants to win a trophy and inside that the team chance to win the first league. Plans to retire. Plans to retire. Okay, he's... Uh, oh, he's... Mm, okay, can I ask him... Can I ask him and say, you know, don't... Don't give up just yet. Um, no, I can't. Oh, reconsider retirement. There it is. Uh, yes, yes I do. I do want to try and reconsider. Neymar to recon... Okay, come back to me with a final proposal in a couple of weeks. And we'll end the episode there on the uh, tightrope that we don't know whether Neymar's going to continue playing for us. If he does, I think it would be useful to keep him around as a mentor. But let me know down below, what do you think about Neymar? He scored his first goal for the club in his second league game. A lovely header. Um, let me know down below what you think of that signing. Is it a waste of money? 4.5k is not that much to us anymore a week. But... Uh, Thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm a very excited boy to have Neymar in my team. I'm out. Cheers.